Inksmith is a semester-long project at the Entertainment Technology Center dedicated to exploring the space of interactive children's storybook mobile applications. Our demographic is two to five-year-old children, an age range where children either don't know how to read or have only just begun to learn how to read. We want to help instill print awareness in them, as well as motivate their future reading career. We want to investigate new ways to present children's stories through non-traditional methods of navigation, moving away from a page-turning paradigm. Inksmith is an exploratory project. During the semester, we made three prototypes for three completely different manuscripts, and we spent three weeks on each of them. Implemented them in innovative ways to present the storybook. For example, we tried a 3D environment for the first story, Bernie the Bowling Pin. Then 2 and 2.5D for Animal Serenade and Astronaut. We also implement different ways to replace the conventional page turner mechanic. In Bernie, we walk through the whole story with camera navigation. In Animal Serenade, the song works as a slider to rotate the world and go through scenes non-linearly. With rapid prototyping, we keep improving from story to story and finally get to know what works the best for our demographics. What we learned from our first prototype gave us a lot of feedback for later prototypes. The facial animation of Bernie turned out to be very interesting for kids to interact, and it's helpful for us to convey the emotion of the story character to the player. In the second prototype, Animal Serenade, we focused on the interactions with the object within the scene, and added interactions with the text to give them print awareness. Interactions with the main character and the text are highly emphasized in our last prototype, Astronaut. While making these prototypes, we are also exploring and studying what are the most important components shared by the interactive children's book apps. By building and iterating these components, what we have in the end is a solid foundation for making these kinds of experiences. Besides making codes robust and reusable, we also provide the flexibility of switching on off features, with which we are able to make parallel builds to test and prove alternate mechanics. We conducted a number of playtests throughout the semester. We made sure that we playtested each of our prototypes at least twice before moving on to the next one. We playtested at the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh, one of the preschools here, and also with kids within the ATC contact circle. Some of the goals for these playtests were to see uh, whether our interactions were intuitive, whether the kids understood and liked our story, and also did our experience bring some level of print awareness to these kids. In the final leg of the semester, we are now in the process of consolidating everything we have learned from our previous three prototypes and putting it together to create one industry-worthy prototype. Over the course of the semester, we learned a lot about the importance of little things that together have a profound effect on the experience as a whole. Things like intuitive control, triggers, transitions, navigation, and the importance of good audio and how it supports and complements the art and the theming. As part of our deliverables, we are documenting our process of discovery into a concise design document in which we will outline everything that we tried, failed at, learned from, and improved on so that our client and future ETC teams as well can use it as a point of reference when designing interactive touchscreen experiences for kids. If anything we have learned during the course of this semester is useful to anyone else who is now designing experiences for kids, I think all of us here at Team Inksmith will be happy.